If you would decide today that nothing is more important than that you feel good and you would set forth a mantra that says, not I'm going to find the best feeling thought I've ever thought and hold it. That's not possible. But as I'm moving through my day, I'm going to reach for the best feeling thoughts I can find as I move along. That mantra, if you really mean it, will take you into bliss on subject after subject after subject. And we want to say to you that we can feel even as we feel you collectively and especially as we feel you individually. You are so close to such incredible manifestations. All you've got to do is just sharpen your signal a little bit. In other words, who you've become is a bright, clear signal, but you muddy the water when you talk in opposition to it. So here's what we mean. So life experience causes you to launch a rocket of desire. So you say, I want more money. I want more money to do more things that I want to do or to repair things or to prepare for things. I want more money, you say. In fact, you've been saying it for so long that there are millions of dollars amassed for you in your vibrational escrow. We are not kidding you. There is so much that is there for you. And when you find vibrational alliance with it, it's going to flow into your experience with ease. So you've launched this rocket of desire and source says agreed, agreed, agreed until there is this empire that is forming. Circumstances and events are being aligned in order to give you with ease this abundance that you want and deserve. And here you are over here complaining, complaining about not enough. So here's this bright, clear signal that is attracting unto itself. Now hear this, we've not said this before. When you give birth to something, source joins it and a very powerful point of vibrational relativity begins emanating and law of attraction, first time, law of attraction is being summoned to that point on your behalf. You hear that? You said you wanted it, source became it, and law of attraction is amassing around the non-physical part of you that knows your genius, knows your worthiness, and knows your heart's desire. So your world is becoming because of the information that you've been giving. The question is, where are you in relationship to this magnificent world that you are in the process of creating? So if you're over here complaining, where are you? You're offering a signal that is discordant to this signal, and so there is a gap between you and you. And as long as there is a gap, it is muting the brightness and the beauty and the speed with which your manifestations can come to you. We've never said it clearer. Did you get a picture of it? So when you want something, please let yourself go with it. Please let yourself imagine it, dream it, talk about it. Don't keep arguing for your limitations. Don't keep explaining why you're not over there yet. Don't keep trying to justify why things aren't better. It doesn't matter. And no one's listening that can do anything about closing the gap, you see. You could find a more optimistic thought by stepping back into a more general stance and focusing in the direction of your vibrational reality. You could say things to yourself that make you feel better, like hard times always precede boom times. You could make yourself feel better by saying, there's a bounce on the other side of my struggle. You could make yourself feel better by saying, this too shall pass. You could make yourself feel better by acknowledging that the way you feel does not need to be tied to the current set of circumstances. You could make yourself feel better by stepping back and acknowledging that the sun came up this morning and it wasn't on your to-do list. And, and that nobody that you know could ever keep that from happening. You could make yourself feel better by acknowledging that this planet is turning in its orbit in perfect proximity and that none of you can do anything about that to dissuade that. In other words, you could focus upon things of well-being. You could change your mood and you could change your mood right now, right now. You can't change your money right now. You can't change your body right now. You can't change your relationship right now. You could change your mood right now. You could change your mood right now. You could change your mood right now. You have complete control over the direction of your thoughts. And when you accept that and you begin practicing it and you find out how easy it is, then you'll find out how easy it all is. Because that's the, that easy thing that we just told you you can do is the only thing you have to do in order for all of that other stuff coming into place that you want to come into place. It is easy. It is easy. It is easy.
it's easy it is easy it is easy to create your own reality it is easy to think the thought you choose to think it is easy to feel better than you feel right now it is easy to find increasingly better feeling thoughts it's easy to direct your mind it's easy because law of attraction keeps making it easy just like it's easy to stay in the pessimistic thought it's easy to stay in a more hopeful thought and it's easy to stay in a thought of believing and positive expectation it's easy law of attraction makes it easy to stay where you practice being law of attraction makes makes it easy to stay right where you expect to be it's easy to change your expectation if you can separate your expectation from reality just for a little while it's easy it's easy it's easy it is it's easy it's easy it's easy to think that thought rather than that thought it is do you do you sit with your remote control and say I can't push the button or do you find it easy it's easy I can choose that or that or that or that or that it's easy it's easy it's easy to change your thought it's easy to find a good feeling thought it's easy to feel good and we got to tell you oh it's so much easier to get into the flow of well-being that has been established for you talk about ease talk about ease if you're looking for ease you just gotta get in the vortex that's where ease is you see and when you say it's hard to get in the vortex we say no it isn't it's easy to get in the vortex it's just not maybe easy to do it immediately but it's easy to get there it's easy to get there you could deliver to us anybody as far away from their vortex as possible and if we have their undivided attention within 30 minutes we'll have them in the vortex it's that easy it's that easy it's easy to be in the vortex it's easy to be in the vortex it's just about focus